Here on what is now the east coast of Canada, in the year 1749, Britain established the naval port of Halifax, Nova Scotia. Amongst the fortifications built to protect that port, the strongest was the Citadel on the high hill above the town. Now a National Historic Site operated by Parks Canada, the current Halifax Citadel, completed in 1856, was the last of four fortifications constructed on the same site. Entering the main gate is like stepping back in time to the year 1869, when the fort was an active defensive work. A dry ditch, ranging from 20 to 40 feet deep, surrounds the entire fort, while heavy guns line the ramparts, as if still waiting for the enemy to appear over the western horizon. Such an enemy never materialized, and Halifax was simply home for many of the British troops stationed there during the reign of Queen Victoria. The fort could house about 300 men, half within the walls and half in the large Cavalier building that dominates the parade square. Restored interiors include the guard room, a barrack room, and a gunpowder magazine. To help bring the site to life, two British regiments that were stationed in Halifax in 1869, the 78th Highlanders and the 3rd Brigade Royal Regiment of Artillery, are portrayed by members of the Halifax Citadel Regimental Association. The 78th Highland Regiment was raised in 1793 by Sir Francis Humberston Mackenzie, who was Chief of the Clan Mackenzie and Baron Seaforth. In 1867, the regiment was posted to Canada, first to Montreal, and then to Halifax in the spring of 1869. The 78th was typical in that it remained in Halifax for about three years before rotating to another post in the British Empire. However, the 78th was particularly popular with the people of the town. It was the first kilted regiment to visit Halifax since the Black Watch had been there in 1852, and these Highlanders were celebrities, the regiment having won eight Victoria Crosses, Britain's highest medal for valor, during recent campaigning in India. The Royal Regiment of Artillery had been established in 1722. Since then it had grown to encompass an entire specialist corps in the British Army. Its single battle honor, Ubiquay, meaning everywhere, was awarded in 1833. Detachments of the Royal Artillery served in Halifax almost from its founding until the departure of the last British troops from Canada in 1906. Together with the sailors and marines of the fleet, these were the troops, soldiers like those of the 78th and the artillery, who garrisoned Halifax and watched over its interests in the decades before the First World War. The memory of their contribution to our nation's history is kept alive at the Halifax Citadel.